Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny and today we're headed to Kashiwa Ramen here in Costa Mesa. I'm here with Sarah. It is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's to all the lovers out there and uh, happy Lunar New Year as well. We're here, not too much of a long day. We're just gonna get some ramen, head to South Coast Plaza after that, and maybe get some dessert. I know Sarah wants to check Uniqlo out. And I think that's it. Let's go ahead and check out this ramen. Uh, pork chashu? Pork chashu? Hey guys, sake ramen here is what we came for. Sake provided by Nova Brewing Company. An Asian owned and female owned sake brewery. Alright guys, so I ordered the uh, sake ramen. Um, she asked me if I wanted like, regular sake or strong sake. I went ahead and went like full out and asked for the strong sake. Um, so I will go ahead and tell you what she ordered. Got spicy ramen level one with seaweed. What else? Uh, no mushrooms. Uh, corn. That's it. Yeah. Basic. All right, guys. So I wanted to get a little footage of this spot. Pretty small, but sometimes the smallest places produce the best food. <laughs> Fight me on that. There's a little sign, who we are. You can pause that on the video if you like. Cool little sign. And here's the kitchen. And yeah, so we're just waiting for a food now. Got the master chef in the back. Thank you. Oh, look at that. That's so good, good yeah. Sake ramen. Sake ramen. Oh yeah. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so the food is out. Sarah got her ramen really spicy. Is that chicken or is that pork? Pork. pork. Okay, perfect. There's a little boil right there. There's okay. corn under there. And here is the sake ramen. Thank you. Let's see, they look aesthetic, you know. Oh, you got you took all of them. All right. Cool, cool. I'll give it to you, honey. That's cool. I don't want it. It's already... There you go. Yeah. Cute. Don't fly away. All right, here we go. Let's stir it up a little bit. We've got some mushrooms, some green onion. We've got a pork tarshu. These noodles look awesome. Some bamboo shoots, seaweed. Mm -hmm. And I asked for the strong sake. So before I even add anything to this, Let's try out that broth. It's a pork broth. I smell the sake. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's try it. Is that, is that good? All right, here we go. First sip. Oh, yeah, I taste the sake. And that's some good sake. I'm going to try mine. If you're lightweight, you actually might get a little tipsy from the from this bowl. But uh, I'm not a lightweight. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sarah got her spicy, is it tonkotsu or what is it? Yeah. Oh, right, here we go. Let's see that girl. Yeah. Cheater. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> good? What do you like about it? The noodle's good. The noodle's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, not the best lighting, but we'll, we'll work with what we got. Um, here is the first bite of these noodles. Again, sake ramen. Mm. Oh yeah, that sake is strong. <laughs> For me, I feel like I might as, well just, might as well just go all out, right? I wouldn't like saying, oh wow, I don't even taste the sake. But I can absolutely taste the sake here. Pork tarsu. Fatty deliciousness. Pork tarsu. Mm. It's 
go in for another bite. It's really hot still. Mm. I don't know, Sarah might have to drive after this. Mm. Alright, here's another bite of that char siu pork. Here we go. And again, sorry for the lighting. Exquisite. Alright, last piece of that char siu. Let's try that. Mm. Probably one of the most tender pieces of pork I put in my mouth. That sake is definitely infused in every component of the dish, but for some reason I taste it more in the uh, the noodles than the broth. All right, so I'm not sure, <laughs> not sure if that was the owner, but. Uh, I, Someone came out asking me if I wanted to sample the uh, the sake that's used in this sake ramen in the broth. Uh, but yeah, he's. Uh, I think he went to the back to uh, grab us some samples, and we're gonna test it out. So can, you, can you actually tell me a little bit again about what? Um, oh yeah, so this sake is uh, uh, straight from LA, okay. uh, West Covina. Okay. Um, specialty about this sake is non-pasteurized sake, mm. which is. Uh, usually, anyone import from sake uh, from Japan, mm. uh, they must pasteurize it at least once or twice wow. uh, because of regulation. Right. For this nama sake, it's a fresh sake. It's non-pasteurized fresh sake, so you will taste it as fresh sake as possible. So please yes. enjoy it. <laughs> I will. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Because I like to taste oh, yeah. sake. I love sake. Oh, so my bad. Okay. That's good. Right. Let's go with Japanese love. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese love. All right. Cheers. Alright, here we go. Here we go. All right. Oh, wow. That is very good. That is delicious. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It's a, it's a I have to drive, sir. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she can drive for me. <laughs> it's a Sunday, so just give oh, me thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, guys. I just had an awesome conversation with the uh, the owner of the establishment. Super delicious ramen. Um, he gave us a little bit of insight into the sake that they use in their sake ramen. Um, again, they uh, have a collaboration with Nova Brewing, which is again Asian and female owned. Looks like they might be a friend of a friend. They actually opened up last year right before the pandemic happened uh, which is unfortunate so you know if you guys ever are in the area West Covina area SoCal area and love sake in general uh, feel free to stop by at the brewing company and you can fact check me on this but the first sake brewing establishment in Southern California um, so yeah or if you guys are ever in Costa Mesa check out Kashiwa ramen as well an awesome uh, place to eat a little small but there is outdoor patio dining until then see you on the next video what did, what did, uh, what did the owner do with your shot glass uh, well yours is like two right here and mine was just over so spilling all mine the just overfilled, just over overfilled. Japanese what you, love. you said it was Japanese love <laughs> Uh, like, uh, yeah, super delicious. I might grab a bottle for myself, not gonna lie.